Okay, it's been a while since I picked something. I have a Yale Superior here. Um, sorry, it fits better in the vise this way around. Um, and it is a dimple lock. It has nine pins as well as four sliders. Um, there are some security pins in here, but uh, they've been placed in such a way that they really don't come into effect or I just kind of bully past them. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with uh, with the uh, dimples and then I'll go to the sliders. The sliders are spring loaded, um, so they, they're all to the side. But regardless of which way I go, it seems that I have to pick all the dimples first before I even start on the sliders. So I'll go ahead and um, start on sliders. Now they come in a little, there are two separate rows. There's five like from slightly to the right and five from to the left. So they kind of point diagonally in a little bit. For the most part, they're all down this almost the same row. Uh, all right, so I'm going to start at number one, click, and then the second one on the right, which is I guess pin number three, little click there, and I'm f like sitting on top of the sliders of the pick, so that's a little bit of a a pain uh, when picking this. So let's see, a little bit weird angle for me. Go down here. Right, I think that's the second one, the one on the left. Just little clicks as I work my way down. Another click, uh, I think that was pin five maybe. As I work my way down. Okay, I'm at the back. Uh, pin nine, springy, seven springy. Little click from five, a little bit of core rotation. All right, so I'll go back down the, the side again. Just looking for guys that are binding. It's not too important to keep track of which ones you set. Okay, big click and rotation from eight. Um, I had tapped a few on the way. I didn't call them all out, but I, I've dropped into a really deep false set. So now it must be that it's time for our sliders. So I have this short uh, multi-pick flag. I'm gonna put straight up and down and I'm gonna drop down uh, into the slider channels and then I'll rotate to push the sliders along. Make sure I'm in the right spot. And there's a slider channel, not binding. This one feels like it might be binding a little. This one here, all right, and there we're open. So the sliders are very easy. They have no false gates and you just kind of push them along until the sidebar drops into them. So let's take a look at what's inside and why despite having nine pins and, and four sliders, this one's not very hard. So we'll show you the key first. There we go, there's the key. Um, and you know, it has a nice little track here for four sliders. Uh, different depths for the nine dimples. They're just, um, I don't know, it, it, something makes it easy. Because I just got this today and uh, no problems. So zoom out, get it down a little. Get this guy out of here. Bring over some tools. There we go. All right, so first things first, get the clip off the back. We'll just uh, push this down with the guiding tool. There's that. Get uh, the key. Now the, um, the key will hold the sliders in. So you just got to catch the, you want to turn it so that, I guess it doesn't matter, you can come straight out as well because the pins will block. I thought that this little lip here, I might need a shim, but no, it's fine as well. So you just gotta catch the um, catch the, uh, the sidebar on the bottom there. So there's that. Um, here's the sidebar at the bottom. Sidebar is simple, it's just straight, straight bar like that. It's got two springs that go with it. There's one of them. We'll pull the other one out later, I guess. Uh, next, I guess what we'll do is we will, here's our four sliders. If we remove the key, we'll be able to get those out. There 
Here's slider number two. We'll put that up there in three, four, and one. And these have springs as well, but they, they stick in there pretty well. I don't know if you can see them. If they fall out, they'll fall out. I'm gonna take the other sidebar spring out just so I don't lose it. So there's the other sidebar spring. All right, let's start dumping pins. There's one. Oh look, some of the sidebar pins, uh, uh, sidebar springs decided to, to join us just now. Oh, I don't want to lose these, so use my fingers instead. One, two of them decided to join. All right, pin two, three. Nine. I don't know if that's slot nine, but four, five, six, seven. Hey, I got it good with uh, number nine right there. So, okay. It's all nine of those. There's nothing special on here. Um, there's no counter milling or anything like that. And it was pins one and two, sliders one and two, whose springs fell out. Sorry if it's uh, noisy, the banging. I got pin sidebar three. And number fours. So that's all the springs. Um, let me write these things here. Uh, number one is a spool. A double-ended spool, I guess a barrel, standard on two, standard on three, standard on four, standard on five, standard on six, this might be why it's so easy, standard on seven, standard on eight, and another like barrel on nine. It's a little bit different than the first one, but again, I didn't really feel any of them. Um, in here, all the springs are the same. So there's all the springs. And then one, uh, I guess it's anti-drill pin at the front came out there. And just uh, some springs. all of them flying all over the place and nine okay so there's that mm, nothing special inside here at all but that's uh, that's that so let's take a little bit closer look at these pins so there's the pins nothing special there except for one and nine and then these sidebar sliders, you can see they don't have any false keys. They just have one huge notch for the sidebar to fall in. Actually, I haven't taken a look at this. Maybe we can take a look at one of these and see how much room it has to play inside this sidebar. Sorry. So if that's the pin that the, if that's the slot that it has to drop into, there's the sidebar. So it has all that room. So you can when you set it, you just have to get anywhere in that area. So it's a lot of a lot of a lot of wiggle room. I don't remember which way I picked this up. I'll have to figure that when I'm putting it back together. Uh, but anyways, that is the Yale Superior, and this is a a longer one. It was a 45 by 45. So if you want to get to make sure you have nine pins and four sliders, you want to get the longer ones. I think it's like 40 and up or 45 and up. So I have a 45 here. Anyways, uh, that's all. You're all superior. Thanks.